guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video if it's your first time here i'm vicky baloy and welcome i hope that you will choose to join my youtube family and click that subscribe button down below so i'm back again today with another sit down video and it is the most requested i'm not just saying i know that we love saying that this was a highly highly requested video but i'm not just saying it was like honestly still is like one of the most requested videos especially from um, people on my instagram and i'm assuming that those people are also here on youtube so um a lot of you guys have been asking that i do an updated skincare routine video or share how i cleared my recent acne breakout i've been putting it off for quite some time because i didn't want to prematurely speak um about the products that i'm currently using i wanted to give it some time to see if the acne won't come back and to confirm that it is indeed these products that are working so that's why i've been putting it off for quite some time now but it's finally here so this is um a skincare routine update video and i'll be talking a little bit about um what i think caused my recent acne breakout take you guys um through the first time that i got it like the recent acne breakout um up until today i'll be setting some pictures so that you guys can see how my skin looked like in that space i'm not gonna talk um about my entire acne journey i think i have a video on that so i'm just gonna date back to just um a year ago when i got my last um or recent acne breakout until today so i hope that you will enjoy this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up at the end comment down below and also subscribe to my channel so my skin was fine um, in December 2020 then I have a habit of doing this or I had a habit of doing this but I'm not doing it again so because it was fine and I felt like I don't have acne anymore then I can explore um, other skincare products and that's what I did um, I bought these products like an entire range I'm not gonna mention the products that um, I was using in the past um, the ones that I think caused my breakout I'm not gonna mention like the names so I was like ah, oh, let me try these products fine I buy them like an entire range from your face wash to your toner to your serums to your day cream I bought an entire range that was January yeah like beginning of Jan new skincare routine fine i used these products and then a month later like in feb i start noticing like small bumps on my face like sort of a rush and then i ignore it i'm like ah oh, probably it's because i just started using these products maybe my skin is just reacting which is something that usually happens not all the time but if you use products that have um certain ingredients that speed up your skin cell turnover then you are most likely to get um such a reaction we call it a cell turnover i thought it was that and then i didn't stop using the products because when um the skin cell turnover happens you're not supposed to stop using the product it doesn't mean that you are reacting badly to the product it's just part of the process so fine i continue using the product and then the following month it was around march 2021 i remember i even went like on a mini weekend away my skin was so much better i'll put up a picture of um that particular weekend my skin was so much better and i was so excited i'm like okay finally it's kicking in um the rush is clearing so i continue with the products i'm like i don't have a problem with them anymore and then the following month or a few weeks later the rush comes back let's say this is april 2021 the rush comes back and this time it came back twice as worse as it was like um weeks back so it comes back and i'm like okay what is happening now then 
weeks go by and then it's starting not to be a rush anymore but like actual pimples on my cheeks i think this was around may and the pimples are now not only on my cheeks anymore but on my forehead as well then i was like okay clearly um i've been using these products for months and my skin keeps on getting better and worse better and worse so clearly these products are not working for me so i have to find new products because i cannot mess up my skin then i choose to put those products on the side and, um look for new products that will help um, me get rid of this acne breakout that i'm experiencing at the moment why did i not go back to what i know what i know has previously worked for me i don't know here i am again wanting to try something new and i blame social media for that like there's so much influence on social media and i went and bought those products it wasn't a specific range it was just a specific brand a skincare brand so i went and got um their toner their toner had salicylic acid the salicylic acid is supposed to help you um control or get rid of the acne as well as reduce um excess oil production on the skin i went and got the toner i also got a serum that had alpha albutene as the main active the alpha albutene is supposed to help um lighten dark spots as well as reduce hyperpigmentation so i felt like that's what my skin needed at the time and then for my face wash i used um which i will also not mention specific face wash that targets acne so those were the three new products that i was using now in my skincare routine and then i continued with um, a face cream from that um, brand that i was using from january until may so now i have this new skincare routine and it's around may we are approaching winter did my acne not get worse like it was one of the worst breakouts i've heard in the entire history of me um struggling from acne it was the worst like there were days where i would look at myself on the mirror and just cringe or feel my body shiver because i just looked a bit scary every time i touched my face it was so rough to a point where i couldn't like bear touching my face and like i said it was around winter time winter your skin and your hair um, are prone to getting dry so here i am using a toner that has salicylic acid that is prone to making my skin even more dry so on top of the acne breakout that i was experiencing my skin was also excessively dry dryness that i have never felt before like it was painful like literally painful so a few weeks later i was like you know what i'm not even gonna try and get far with this um current skincare routine because clearly it's not working like it made matters worse from the way they were like during the first half of the year it made matters worse i was so scary my skin was starting to even look dark like i didn't have my complexion anymore like I just looked so bad you guys I didn't have my confidence anymore so whenever i took a picture yeah like you know sometimes these phones have a way of hiding what our, our skin actually looks like even when we don't use filters like you just open the camera and your skin doesn't look like what it actually is so i would get away with that but yeah like my skin looked bad this time i was like you know what um i better go back to what i know what i know has worked for me in the past and it never gave me issues i need to go back to that but now because i was dealing with um two issues it's not only like the acne breakout it's the acne as well as this a very dry skin so i didn't know how to like approach it because i didn't want to mix too many actives in one skincare routine like i didn't want my skincare routine to have 
too many ingredients at once like ingredients to hydrate the skin as well as ingredients to get rid of the acne so i was like okay let me firstly like down size um my skincare routine like subtract some steps so the first thing that i did was that i had to stop exfoliating my face because now my skin was extra sensitive i had to stop exfoliating had i continued with um exfoliating my skin it was going to be even worse because it was like too sensitive at the time so i had to stop exfoliating for some time i had to stop using masks i love masking my face so much so i had to stop using clay masks i had to stop using sheet masks as well so my self-care sundays wouldn't even sometimes happen because i mean what a self-care sunday without masking your face you know so i had to stop doing that and then i had to stop using I'm not sure if I should say this well maybe I'll say it later so yeah I was like okay what has worked for me it was Benzic like the face wash um, I went and bought Benzic face wash I bought the glycerin pure soap and then I was like I need something that is going to hydrate my skin you know I need something that's going to hydrate my skin because I cannot continue living with this excessively dry skin it's painful like it's terribly painful so I found the Neutrogena um, face lotion the one in the hydro boost range I bought that as well I will show you guys all the products that I'm talking about and then around that time I received um, the Clix Beauty Box and inside the Beauty Box there was um, a serum from Skin Republic, a hyaluronic acid serum, um, it's called the Super Hydrating Serum so it's meant for hydrating your skin, you know that hyaluronic acid is for hydration. So I found that as well. So now I had like four products which was Benzic, which was the Glycerin Pure Soap, the Hyaluronic Acid Serum as well as the neutrogena um face lotion with spf 25 let me actually go and fetch the product see my soap um doesn't have the plastic cover anymore but i'll just put up a picture so that you guys can see which soap i'm talking about i would wash my face with that in the mornings and then in the evenings this is what i used to wash my face so um this is the benzic ac5 wash five percent you can get this at clicks or discam i don't know if they sell it anywhere else so the main ingredient in here is benzoyl peroxide which targets acne so this is what i was using to get rid of the acne that i had and then to moisturize my face for both um the morning and the evening i would first go with this um skin republic uh hyaluronic acid serum for both morning and my evening skin care routine and then to seal in all the moisture i would use this neutrogena hydro boost um Cedar Shield hydrating lotion this has spf 25 this has SPF 25 and because I was trying to reduce the amount of products that I was using I had to make a very difficult decision this is something that I wanted to make to mention earlier but I didn't um, I had to make a very difficult decision of stopping a little bit with using sunscreen because um, I didn't know which sunscreen to go for at that time out my skin is extra sensitive I have acne my skin is dry so, um, I didn't want to make matters worse by using a lot of products so another thing that I had to stop doing was using sunscreen so I had to make sure that um, the face cream that I was using or the face lotion had SPF so this has SPF 25 like that was my skincare routine I would use this um, in the morning and in the evening as well so if you can check like my skincare routine was very simple just three steps washing serum and then face cream or face lotion that was it that was from July I think 
July the remaining um, days of July August and September and then towards the end of September my acne had cleared I'll put up a picture of that um, my acne had cleared and the only thing that I was left with now was a bit of hyperpigmentation especially on my forehead as well as um, acne post acne dark spots that's what I had I was like okay whew, I am getting my skin back the acne is gone I now have to work on preventing further more breakouts as well as clearing these acne spots fine i continued with um the same skincare routine mornings i would wash with the glycerin pure soap moisturize with the skin republic serum as well as the neutrogena um hydro boost city lotion and in the evenings it was benzic the same serum as well as the face the same um face lotion so like okay now that that is gone and my skin was so much better it wasn't as dry um it wasn't as sensitive anymore i was like cool now i can go back to using spf i actually need to use spf it actually helps with um getting rid of hyperpigmentation as well so this is the spf that i opted for the dim opal um moisturizing sunscreen it has spf 30 plus which is like the recommended um level of spf that you should use daily so i opted for this it wasn't treating me so well at the beginning but now i'm really enjoying it i'm not complaining i'm still using it even today and then now there was like dark spots i was like okay i need to find something for dark spots and then i found this um curate um vitamin c serum it's called the intensive vitalizing so main ingredients here are um, ascorbic acid which hydrates your skin evens skin tone and helps boost radiance so i've been using this since last year october um until today and then yeah that was my skincare routine so the evening skincare routine i had to substitute this serum with this one so i use this um during the day or in the morning and then this is my evening or night serum but with the same face wash same soap and same um face lotion for both morning and evening as well i know this is um for during the day ideally because it has spf 25 but because i still don't want to use a lot of um products on my face i feel like it works perfectly fine and then yeah i continued with that skincare routine october november december my skin had cleared like january this year i am glowing like my face is so radiant the acne marks are gone most of them i just have a few and these ones that you see are from like you know the acne breakouts maybe that you usually get um towards your pain they usually leave like a few dark spots which i'm not complaining about because like as you can see my skin looks very healthy um very bright radiant as well and hydrated so i am not complaining um and they usually don't last for long because of this um vitamin c serum so, so it helped me when it comes to getting rid of the post acne spots that i had and then yeah even today this is still my skincare routine remember i had to stop exfoliating and using masks i am happy to tell you guys that i went back to exfoliating as well as using clay masks and sheet masks i will show you guys what i use to exfoliate and mask as well i started masking when was it i think january this year or december last year i am not sure and i started exfoliating just last month in feb so i am super super excited and my skin is responding well to it um so this is what i use to exfoliate my face i use the uso skincare enzymatic exfoliator this is a chemical exfoliator it's very good for people with um, acne prone skin as well as sensitive skin with physical exfoliators they are 
quite a bit harsh on the skin so it's not ideal for someone who has sensitive skin highly highly recommend this for exfoliating your face i use this twice a week and then to mask i went back to my favorite sheet masks my favorite and most affordable sheet masks the ones by curette they have um and these are beauty recipe masks so you'd find one in pomegranate you'd find one in grape you'd find one in avo potato banana so um my faves are the pomegranate one because it works perfectly fine it makes my skin so bright um gives me that glow that i need and then as a clay mask i use the i've posted it a lot of times here on my youtube it's in my wardrobe and i'm so lazy to take it but i will definitely insert a clip it is the himalaya turmeric and saffron um clay mask so during my mask day i would wash firstly with my face wash either the benzoic or the pure soap follow up with this follow up with um my clay mask and then lastly use my um sheet mask by curette okay. that has been my skincare routine this is what i use this is what works for me um i am gonna go back a little bit and show you guys my product again so to wash morning it's the glycerin pure soap and then evening it's the benzic ac5 face wash um to hydrate in the morning i use the skin republics um super hydrating serum that has hyaluronic acid it also has niacinamide to brighten your skin and then i also moisturize with the neutrogena hydro boost hydrating lotion with spf 25 and put on the demo pal um, moisturizing sunscreen with spf 30 and then in the evenings to moisturize i use the curate intensive um, vitalizing serum this is a vitamin c serum it's best for clearing um post acne dark spots and then i also moisturize with the same one that i use in the mornings which is the neutrogena hydro boost um, hydrating lotion and that's it that is my simple skincare routine and then once or twice a week this is what i also add into my um, evening skin routine exfoliate um as well as mask together with the um clay mask what has this um recent acne journey taught me it taught me that um products won't work the same way for everyone something that works so best for someone else doesn't mean won't necessarily work the same way for me salicylic acid is like highest recommended products when it comes to getting rid of acne but in my case it didn't work and trust you know like i was using it the correct way the way i am supposed to use salicylic acid but it didn't work for me instead it made matters worse alpha butane didn't work for me i don't know if it's those actives that didn't work for me or it's the formulation in which that particular brand formulates their products i'm not sure if they are highly concentrated or what because another thing that i would notice is a burning sensation whenever i used the product both the toner as well as the serum i don't know if my skin barrier was damaged could be the reason but what i've learned from this whole um recent acne journey that i went through is that um certain products will not work for all of us and just because this worked for me like out of all the products that i have here the only acne targeting product is benzec i've recommended benzec to a few people including my colleagues and they came back to me and said this isn't working for them it's actually giving them a rush and you know what i accept it because i've come to learn as someone who loves their skin so much and takes care of their skin so much i've come to learn that products will not work for all of us something that worked for me might not work for you you might go and try like the skincare routine that i just explained now and it might not work for you it might make your skin actually um worse and it's completely okay it doesn't mean that i'm lying they did work for me so yeah that's what i've learned about skincare you do not copy and paste like you can't copy and paste there will be something that works perfectly for you and it won't work perfectly for someone else. You know.
you need to learn your skin and listen to your skin one mistake that i always did is to see that okay this works for my skin but i leave that particular thing that works for my skin and go use something else that's one mistake um, I've always done, but I'm not doing that anymore. My skin is like so happy right now. Like it's so healthy. I am happy, which means I am not gonna change these products ever. Unless if my skin starts, I don't know, like declining or whatever. But for now, this is what works for me and I'm not gonna change. I'm not gonna add anything new i'm not gonna subtract anything unless if i have to so yeah that's what i've learned and i'm no longer making that mistake of wanting to try so many products because now i feel like my skin is looking good the acne squad is not coming back because i always regret when i do that and i don't want to put myself and my skin through that ever again so i hope that um my skincare routine video did help i've been asking that i make this video i hope that it worked i hope that i explained it well um in simple terms i tried and if you guys want a video of like me actually washing my face um doing my skincare routine please do let me know in the comment section if i should do that video i will gladly do so i wanted to do that initially but i was like you know what let me rather have a sit down video where i explain thoroughly my recent um acne journey because it doesn't help to do a video of me washing my face and then i don't tell you guys how long did these products take to work you guys don't get to see the actual improvement from month to month of my skin um since i started this journey so i was like i would rather sit down and then talk about this with you guys so i hope that it made sense i hope that you guys did enjoy this video if you have any questions please do not hesitate comment down below ask me anything and i am going to answer um all of um you guys's questions thank you so much for watching this video it is the end of the video um if you did enjoy please don't forget to like comment as well as subscribe and also follow me on my instagram at vicky underscore baloi i will see you guys probably next week with a vlog i am not sure i'm not promising but there is a chance um yeah i will see you guys then please don't forget you can catch me on my instagram at vicky underscore baloi um i will see you guys soon bye